that same a wretch like me Let's give the Lord a hand clap, huh? Let's give the, the Lord a praise. Let's give him a shout. Brother, we're here to praise God. Brother, I may be walking with a cane, but I still got a praise on my lips. Hallelujah. That's the way it's supposed to be. Shout him in the, praise him in the jailhouse like Paul and Silas. You come in this house of God, you come here to worship God. You come here to praise him. You come here to thank him for his goodness, for his mercy. Oh, hallelujah. Everybody should be happy this morning to see the people that they're going to be sojourning with for eternity in heaven. Hallelujah. We have much to praise him for. Praise God. Glory. Well, amen. Oh, what do you know? Praise God. Hallelujah. My, my, my. Praising the Lord. Amen. Wonderful. Amen. There's no praise prompters behind me on cards. Amen. Hallelujah. I don't see nothing up there, but I'll praise him for him. Huh? Praise God. Hallelujah. Well, wonderful. Praise the Lord. The chance to look at you. Who are you anyway? Where are you where you come from? Where are you going? Huh? Sound like you're going to heaven to me. Amen. Praise God. Well, 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 greetings, uh, New York and Pennsylvania. God bless you. Uh, Pennsylvania's on the hookup, I believe. I believe everything is okay, Norman. All is well. Well, this is, uh, what is this? This is, uh, there's one church in two locations soon to be united by ISDN. Amen. Then what can the devil do? Hallelujah. The devil can't just squawk. Don't you understand that before you was before the, the foundation of the world, God seen everything that would happen this year in New York and Pennsylvania. So we just shout and praise God for what has happened. What mind battle? What trial? What situation? What circumstance? can separate you from the love of God. Huh? Nothing. Amen. That's the way I feel anyway. Yes, sir, Brother Ricard. You know, Brother Ricard, saying ballot and to buying them or, or writing letters and uh, uh, trying to disqualify New York and Pennsylvania, saying all kind of evil things, saying ballot and to buy because Nehemiah is building the wall, and Nehemiah's getting ready to turn the corner. And those spirits are, are evil. Slander. Amen. The more slander, the more blessings. Hallelujah. Praise God. You hear that, Pennsylvania? Don't be shook up with sand ballad and Tobiah and them writing letters and all across the country. They did it on me way years ago, 1964. All it did was make the prophets, God in the prophets say, God bless you. Hallelujah. And you watch God bless on this third phase with all the letter writing, all the evil sayings and doings. Oh, come on, Pennsylvania, shout. Shake that thing off of you down there, praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Oh, my. Yes, sir. Brother Nick, all the people that left here with evil things to say about me, I have about 10,000 people in the congregation. You know that? 
Yes, sir. I have to funnel them through here about five times. Amen. Half an hour apiece. Amen. Everybody feeling fine? Oh, look at those smiling faces there. Hallelujah. God bless you down there in Pennsylvania. Well, I could be here with you all day, but that's not my purpose. Amen. So I invite your attention to Genesis uh, 47. Well, let's try to drop over to 45 and 47. Just a few comments to uh, kind of, you know, post you to the season here. And, on a, you know, and so I'm just going to let the, the Lord lead me. And I, I got to do this quickly. I don't want to have everybody here a long time. You know what I mean? God bless you, Brother Josh. Good to see you. Yes, sir. Okay, uh, just a little background. 45 verse uh, 6. Now, you know the uh, Joseph's 14-year prophecy? Amen. Seven years of famine. I mean, seven years of plenty. Then seven years of famine. So then, and here, uh, Joseph's brethren, because they came down here uh, in, in, in the ninth year here, he's greeting them again here. And then the sixth verse, for these two years, as seven plus two is nine, hath the famine been in the, in the land. No, I should say uh, these two years, because after the seven years of plenty, so for two years, after, which is the ninth year, for these two years hath the famine been in the land. Now watch, this is very, very important here. I'm giving you a little foundation. And yet there are five years in the which, now watch, there shall neither be earring, that's plowing, huh, nor harvest. So that's nine, the ninth year, and five more years are going to be 14 years. And even in the 14th year, you st uh, there'll be neither airing, no plowing, and no harvest in the 14th year. And this has been Joseph's 14-year prophecy. And uh, 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 47, verse 18, and uh, verse 18. Now, when that year ended, now this would be the uh, 13th year. You got to know how to read the Bible. Amen. When that year ended, because that uh, all preceding what I'm uh, reading here is, explains about that. But I want to get down to this year here. Uh, when that year ended, uh, they came unto him the second year, and this, this would be the 14th year, and said unto him, We will not hide it from my Lord how that our money is spent. Now you go into, I, those of you who are posted, you should know that there's no more money left in this country. You, you're just living on what uh, your great-grandchildren would put in there, in income tax. So it's all a bust. Amen. Uh, 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 the second year. Money spent. Okay. My Lord also hath a herds of cattle. There's not aught left in the sight of my Lord, but our bodies and our lands. Uh, 19. Wherefore shall we uh, wherefore shall we die before thine eyes, both we and our land? Now watch. Buy us and our land for, for, for bread. For bread and we and our land will be servants unto Pharaoh. They're giving themselves over now. First all the money left in the 13th year. Now the 14th year, they're going to turn over their bodies and their land. Nothing. And, and now watch. But here's what they're asking for. Give us seed that we may live and not die, that the land be not desolate. My, now think, all these years, 35 years is up, Malachi 4 is message. So there's got to be a time when the people in the message are going to finally die and realize that everything is finished. It doesn't matter which one gets in. Because they're both owned by you know who. Both of them aspiring to be the president. They're both owned. Because you know all about Bush and all that, Prescott and Germany and the whole thing, don't you? Amen. Sold the old man. Rockefellers, you know all that. Right? It's all owned. 
Amen. So there's got to come a time in this message where the people are going to, they see all, they see Israel compassed about, and they see there's no way out. And they're waiting, waiting for that prophet's message that promised some dynamics. Amen. Where's it at? But they're not just waiting, they're getting ready for it. Amen. Ah, that's the key. Amen. So you can know it and wait, but if you ain't ready for it, well, nothing happened. Okay, I'll give you a little background. I give us seed. Now, the people have got to ask for the seed. Not just come to church and you try to put, bounce it off their heads and everything. No, you got to ask for it. Amen. Give us seed that we may live and not die, that the land be not desolate. Okay, verse 23. Then Joseph said unto the people, Behold, I have bought you this day in your land for Pharaoh. Lo, here is seed for you, because they asked for it. And ye shall sow the land. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading. Wait, 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 read this next one. And it shall come to pass in the increase in the harvest that ye shall give the fifth part unto Pharaoh. Four parts shall be yours. Now watch what you're going to do with your four parts. Uh, one part is going to be for seed of the field. Now you, ha you didn't have no seed to sow for 14 years, according to this. I mean, I mean they didn't have it. Amen. So now they're asking for, he's giving them seed in the 14th year here. See, and he's going to let them sow in the 15th year. I'm just trying to break it down for you to understand it, amen, see. And, <laughs> amen. And in a, a f four parts shall be your own, mine. You won't have to go begging again and asking for more seed in the 15th year. Because you're going to have your own. Oh, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Four parts shall be your own for seed of the field and for your food and for them of your household and for the food for your little ones. The baptism of the Holy Ghost for you and your children. Huh? For those in your household, your families. Oh, come on, church. Come on, get in the spirit of the word. Amen. Let us pray. Father in heaven, just read your word. Now, just for a few moments, let me post the people to this great hour that's at hand now. Down in Pennsylvania, New York here, Lord, Father, may uh, understanding pour out. May you open their minds. Amen. May you open up their understanding to the hour, to the promise, to the time, to the seed, to the purpose that you call them here for. Anoint me to stand up here. Yes, Lord. Praise God and drive these few words home to them. Strengthen my body, Lord. Bless the people here in Pennsylvania. Be with us, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray and ask the blessing. Amen and amen. Well, God bless you. You may be seated. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay. Uh, yes, sir. So, uh, Amen. Well, uh, well, brother, sister uh, Vasquez, God bless you. Welcome. I believe you originally was from Brooklyn. Is that correct? No? Amen. You went up to New York State there near, near the Griffins and so forth. Well, anyway, praise God. We certainly appreciate you being here this morning. And you see what the New York church is all about. Amen. Amen. This is New York experience. <laughs> Some experience, I tell you that. <laughs> My God, the New York experience has run many out of here. Fifteen different ways, brother. I, don't, I ain't never going back there no more. Uh, my God. Okay, now, uh, August 13th, a warning went out to the church concerning the owl that's at hand. Amen? And uh, then, as I told you on uh, uh, July 22nd, the Lord told me to set your papers, things, and house, in the God's house, in order. Something's fixing to happen real soon. So I already spoke on it on August 13th. Now this is a warning to the church that should go out to the people. So the purpose of the service this morning, today, is to post you to the hour that is at hand. Amen. Amen. And friends, I want to let you know now, we finally have come down to seed time. Bride time. Hallelujah. Oh, this is a glorious hour. This is a time of the harvest. 
in the time of the harvest, bind the tears. It didn't say the harvest. It says in the time of the harvest. So you begin to see the time of the harvest come up. You begin to see, uh, see the seeds get ripe. You begin to see the world council, the tears be bound into world council bundles. And then you begin to see the bride come back to seed time, word time, bride time. Hallelujah. Then the, the latter rain is fixing to strike them seeds. But they have got to say, give us seed. Now, you, if this whole church in here tonight, today in Pennsylvania, can you imagine anybody walking in there every Sunday and Wednesday? Give me seed. Give me seed. Why the preacher can hardly come in the pulpit, the anointing will be all over the place. Hallelujah. No dead beats. Praise God. Glory. Siente say. You may be seated. Amen. Now you got it. Friends, this is seed time, bride time. This is the separation of the seed from the shuck. Hallelujah. And today's message, a little testimony. What well, give you a little testimony. Um, all, uh, all summer I've been sick and weary and a nauseous stomach all since May. And you know how that goes. And I don't know what it is, nerves and I don't know. You know, yeast, this and that and whatever. But anyway, the Lord has been good to me. And uh, August 17th. Uh, I'm just uh, relaxing late in the afternoon, and the Holy Spirit dropped down and said, uh, lo, lo, here is seed for you. So I was posted. He says, count the years from 1988. So I said, count the years. So one, two, I went to both hands and came back to the first hand, and got to three of it, and then the third one was the 13th year from 88. I said, what? The next year would be the 14th year. Oh, hallelujah, thine the glory. Oh, hallelujah, amen. Give us seed. Finally, the church may wake up. So, uh, I was so tired and weary. I was so tired and weary. And then the next, maybe see the next day, August 18th, uh, back in the afternoon again, I can hardly write anything down. And he come back again, lowers here's, here's seed for you twice. And he said, count the years. So I knew what it was. Thank you, Brother Neil. And I knew what it was. So I finally wrote it down. And then uh, August, now I'm anointed now. See? So August 19th was a Saturday, tired or no tired. I started thinking. I said, well, I never finished a low hair seed for you. That's all I cut off. Because the rest of it said, and you, you shall sow the land. So I said, I never finished that. And I said, I called Brother Norman. I said, Brother Norman, maybe you can get Sister Louise to uh, type out a uh, low hair seed for you. He said, it's already done. It's already, the book's out already. I said, well, I mean, what time capsule am I in? Amen. <laughs> So much was going on in the first part of the year. I don't know where I'm at. Amen. Praise God. So then I said, oh, yeah. I said, well, I thought I, thought I had to preach a message. Lo, here is seed for you. You, should, you shall sow the land to, as a, a, a sequel. And he says, no, it's already been preached in Canada. I said, Canada? Well, when was that then? Preached that. He says, uh, I'll bring it over. He brought it over. So um, and there it was in Bohano with Brother Aylstock, and, and all the three churches were there from New Brunswick and uh, uh, Toronto. And so I said, oh, yeah. And I looked. I said, give me the tape. And I heard the tape. My mind was blown out. So what it was, I had received a revelation on June 30th, and then I, which is on the tape, so I'll leave it for you. You get it there. So then, of course, Saturday, I was kind of like blown out, and I said, Lord, could this Am I dreaming something or what? I said, could this, this is the 13th year? Could it be actually coming up the 14th year? And then that means that the prophecy actually would be here and we're still here. And all those critics that laughed and you Joseph affection, you, you devil, you this, you that, you false prophet, you, yeah, on the phone actually from South Africa. You devil, you, you, Joseph, affection, you. That was 83 when the priest is there and the Holy Spirit poured out. Amen. So 
I said, brother, is this the way you feel about your fellow minister? I said, oh. <laughs> and he slammed the phone down. Amen. See what I mean? Don't worry about it. Amen. Let them say what they want to say down there in Pennsylvania, New York. It doesn't matter. Let them scan the scandalize uh, uh, false accused and scandalize my name that's what Reverend Barnes said uh, yeah <laughs> yeah January February yeah okay don't don't matter praise the Lord are you getting me let them scandalize let them false accuse you brother don't make any difference I mean if you, the Bible tells you when all men shall revile you blessed are ye so come back to the word. Don't worry about these people. Amen. Amen. They're just jealous of what you got. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. Okay. So I thought, Lord, then that would be coming up would be the year 2001. And that would be 14 years of the prophecy. I said, could this really be the hour? And the time to sow the seed is here. And then I, oh, I said, oh, no. And so anyway, I went on and I got the tape. And um, so I said, well, I know that it's because uh, it's got to be somewhere along the line. I said, when the people will finally get desperate and get a revelation and the opening of the word comes to them, what Brother Brown's message is all about, Amen. So anyway, the message was August 26, 1990, lo, here is seed, and ye shall sow the land. In the 14th year, the seed is to be given out in the last year of Joseph's 14-year prophecy. Did you get that? Seven years of, uh, of, of plenty and seven years of famine. And in the, in the 14th, give out the seed for food and seed to sow the land for your own harvest. Isn't that something? You're going to take your own harvest home. Have your own. Then everybody with their own harvest come into service here. The man is called by God and got a gift. He just preaches the word. Then the anointing in you shall teach you. Signs and wonders and miracles. Praise God. Amen. Oh, what a time we're coming into. Don't worry about them. Amen. Let them go. Praise God. And you know, maybe see that. Come on now. I mean, Shemaiah kick dirt on David. One of, his, one of his mighty men said, shall I cut that dog's head off? Let him alone. God has bid him to do it. Oh, just for what? To perfect you. To see if you got a little patience, a little brotherly kind, a little forgiveness. Hallelujah. Come on. Don't rail back. Amen. Praise God. Okay. So may, uh, there you are. Your own harvest. Low hair see for you. You shall sow the land. Okay, in your book here, uh, page six, just trying to uh, post you here, page six. Okay, uh, second paragraph. Well, praise the Lord. This come this opening up here. I like to take a little. I like to take a title. Lo, here is seed for you, and you shall sow the land. In 1988, here you are, January 3rd. I just took the title. Low hair is seed for you. That's why I had you study the book this week. Amen. And that, watch, that's all he showed me just that far. Are you getting that? I couldn't go no further. He didn't show me no more. But he did now. See how it goes? So you're prophesying. And people get weary and walk out. I didn't see it happen. No, it's prophecy. Oh, don't you, you understand what I've been doing here? All of the Holy Spirit was condensed into a revelation. And then all I did was stand here and say, it is written. It is written. Cancer devils out of here. Praise God. It is written, Satan. Three wild attacks is written. And as soon as the test is over, then the word expands back into the spirit. Praise God. And Jesus returned in the power of the spirit. The same spirit that was in the word that he defeated the devil with the word. So you have to defeat the devil all these years by the word. Do you get it? 
That's what I've been doing here by the word. We know the spirit can wipe them out of here. But that's not the purpose. The purpose is for you to be tried by the word like Eve was. And not fall. You may be seated. All the dull spirits leaving you? Amen. That's all he showed me just that far. But something happened this summer. He told me to come up here, up to Canada, and add the last part. And you shall sow the land. Praise God. So I feel it's a new season. I was prophesying right here. A new time. Now before, now watch. It's on, it's on the tape here. Before you can sow the land. Listen now. And the land is what? Is the Holy Ghost in your heart? Well, how many have the Holy Ghost? Hardly any have the Holy Ghost. So then it was not time to sow the land in the heart. You're waiting for the Holy Ghost. Oh, brother, the dynamics is your promise. It will fall. Then you'll sow the, land, the seed into your Holy Ghost land in your heart. And you're going to have a harvest. Oh, I hope you, my church can get that. Amen. You'd be a mighty, invincible army if you can get that. Maybe see that. Do you understand it now? In the Old Testament, that was the promised land. In the New Testament, that's the promised land. Is the ho promised land is the Holy Ghost. And now, now we can put seeds into the land to bring forth a crop. Amen. You may be seated. Now, here's been the problem for all these 34 plus years. It could not be done all these years it took. You had to get rid of the waysides. They were hanging around. You had to get rid of the stonies. You had to get rid of the thornies. The shuck had to dry. Oh, this is, this is when I rejoice. I don't, get who, who, that doesn't matter to me when something like this. When I'm looking and seeing these evil spirits in the congregation and see them go out. Oh. Go out, Stony. Go out, Thorny. Goodbye, Wayside. Goodbye, Shuck. Now, the seed shall not be heir with the Shuck. They will not get your inheritance. They only sit in here and block it up. But when the hour comes, praise God, whether they're here or whether they're not here, down comes the Holy Ghost, praise God. Oh, my, you may be seated. Oh, you had to get rid of the thornies, the shuck, had to dry. Everything had to fade away, had to come down to the end, down to 1990. To me, it was 1990. I was, I was just prophesying. And, and when there was a little flock left, but they believed the word of God. And they believe in perfection. And they've got to have the right ground, the right ground. My, that's my message this morning, the right ground. It's got to be good ground for the word to be sold in good ground. Glory to God. Well, there you are. You got that now? Well, Brother Coleman, what is the seed? Page 24, second paragraph. Here's the seed that's going to be sold in this 14th year. If you go out here after the day and make everything right, praise God. Pull all the thorns out. Get all the rocks out. And prepare your ground. Hallelujah. Every promise in the Bible belongs to you. The devil can't take it from you. Impossible. Hallelujah. Impossible. Every, here, here's the seed here. Every promise will bring forth of its kind another Ephesians. This is the seed. St. John 14, 12. This is the seed. Apostolic church, this is the seed. Seven thunder revival, adoption, perfection. St. Matthew 17, Joseph perfection, and the Holy Ghost itself. Hallelujah, that's the seed that will be sowed into you. Praise God to bring forth a revival in your own harvest. Amen. Okay, I'm going to drop something in right here. It'd be on a, a tape, uh, um, 
Sister Celia Negron found it, and she told me about it. It totally blew my mind out altogether. And on there, I go into the third phase. You used to hear me say, the third phase, when the dynamics come, the spirit, on you know, water, blood, spirit, and it'll be on the third phase, brotherly kindness and holy decency and the spirit. It's, I said, well, the, it, it, will, it will automatically connect into the prophet's third pull. And on this tape, I said, why? I said, you see uh, the, the, the dynamics, the spirit will have to connect into the word. So therefore, God will be forced to open the word to the bride in order for the dynamics to connect with it. Do you understand now? The opening of the word? So it's got to honor, so when the dynamics come, then you'll know that seven thunders will fly out of page 304 and give you a revelation, praise God, of the word. Then the dynamics will come in. Then you have back to the Bible, word and spirit. And that's how you will be born. Praise God. That's where you'll be born again. Oh, praise God. You get this now? Okay, the seed will be given out. Do you see your hours here, friends? You have to have the baptism of the Holy Ghost in your heart, which is the land, and then you are ready for Joseph's perfection seed to be sold into you to bring forth your own harvest. Praise. Can, can I get some more out of you this morning? Friends, I'm not going to stand up here crippled and my knee busted up, need surgery for you to sit there numb. I done dropped off five atomic bombs already and you have not exploded yet. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, ask God to open your understanding because I'm saying things, I'm coming here to say it. Why? Because there's going to be an outpouring of the Spirit and if you're going to keep sitting there like that, you're not going to get nothing. I can't come up here and do this. What's wrong with you? Whew. Praise God. Just wasting my time. Amen. The Holy Spirit is grieved. It is the Word. Say it. It is the Word that you're going to live by. You don't, I mean, it's all right to be like Miriam. And come out of Egypt and look over you and see all the Egyptians drowned down in the world and beat your tambourine and run up and down the side. But that ain't it. It's this word. Praise God. Tambourines have their place, certain types of songs, but not in the nice thought. There is a fountain filled with blood. We don't need no tambourine then. All we need is a spirit in your heart and your eyes closed singing to God. Praise God. Are you reading me? I hope you are. We don't want no tambourine spirit going through here to make you come alive. This, because I stood up here and preached and almost died the next week. Stood up here and preached. The ministry of the spirit is here to do what? To quicken the word to the bride. Don't need nothing else to go along with it. Just need you. Shouting and praising God. Hallelujah. Friends, my back is, 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 is killing me. I'm tired. My legs is cramped up. I'm, trying, I'm so happy to come in and tell you these things. And you're sitting looking at me. Whew. You may be seated. Lord God. Amen. Ask the Lord to give me some grace. I'm not going to ask Jonathan Brown to, to put a hook in here because I ain't going to have this too long. Yeah. 
Brother Nathaniel, you sent me a quote, maybe see it in June, from, <laughs> that I said, Brother Bob, where's my cane? Amen. I says, uh, amen. I said, I got, I got this cane, but I'll, I'll use it until the power gets here before Jezebel. I said, if I have to whack the demons, I'll whack the demons, praise God. And I just finished whacking some no-praise demons. A group, don't you ever come in here like this again. Say, Lord, I'll never come in here like this again on Sunday morning, Sunday night or Wednesday. Amen. Praise God. Glory to God. Amen. Okay. I went too long on nothing. Amen. I should have been out of here. Maybe seated. God's power to transform. This is very serious what I'm doing here. Uh, Phoenix, Arizona, 1965, pa page 7, paragraph 52. Now, as every place has to have a headquarters somewhere, this convention has a headquarters, and this chapter has a headquarters, and a church has a headquarters, and God has a headquarters. So this great place, nation that we live in, has got a headquarters. So this great Eden had a headquarters, and this headquarters was headed up in the Garden of Eden, or in Eden east of the Garden. And God placed over this to rule all his great creation here on earth. His son and his son's bride, Adam and Eve. God was the father of Adam. Adam was the son of God according to the scriptures. He was the son of God. Now, put on your caps, a group. Come on. Listen to what I'm going to tell you now. This is paragraph 55. And God made him a helpmate out of his own body. Perhaps a rib over his heart. So she'd be close to him. And made him a helpmate. It re now watch. It really was not his wife as yet. Amen. You're not his bride as yet. Amen. So how can you sit like that? Amen. I hope that wakes you up. I hope that scorches you. Amen. To get up out of that slumber. Amen. I guess about half of them are going to movies and... And videos and everything else in the world. Because thank God, because the ministry uh, wives told me that there wasn't any, uh, there wasn't hardly any slits around here in Harrisburg. All the other churches had slits. Amen. Thank God. God bless you, sister, if you didn't wear no slits. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. May be seated. A lot of the groups had slits. I said, slits in this hour? Well, you know what it is. A lot of things have slipped in here. I know it is in here, Brother Carl, because I haven't been around here too much. I haven't been around much anymore, but I'll be around. Amen. Oh, yes, I will. <laughs> I'll be around. And all that nonsense is going right out of here, too, I'll tell you that. The old man's coming back. Amen. I'll ride this trail one more time. Yes, sir. You may be seated. Okay, we got this now. It wasn't, it really wasn't his wife as yet. No more than it was man as yet. Watch, he had just spoke it. And there's where the trouble comes. Satan found her before Adam did. You get that now? So it was just his word he had spoken. And the same son of man, not another, came back in Malachi 4 and did the same thing all these 35 years. And it's just his word that he has spoken. Now, where are they at now? Where's thine accusers now? It's only his word that has been spoken. How many thousand have gone away? Okay, maybe seated. You get, and you got that? Okay, I don't want to be here too long. Then may I say this today, according to this. I had this written years ago. I stopped preaching it. But I, I had it in the, in the fly leaf of God trying to do God a service without it being his will Shreveport. It was written in the back. I wrote it in my own words as he spoke to me. May I say this today? God in Malachi 4 spoke his seven thunder word 
message, sent his prophet home, and left his spirit spoken seven thunder voice word here to unite with a bride. You got it? Now watch. May be seated. We are not actually his bride for this word message. Not until he, charity, comes to a virgin of his seven thunder voice word message. Not one thing added, not one thing taken away. Then you will be bride. Because Brother Branham said, not me. God will not bring Christ through the womb of a whore. Spoken word original seed. See? And that, you may be seated. That can take in anything. The world, things of the world, popularity, but this, that, all part of it. So you better watch. Amen. You got it now? We are not actually his bride for this word message until he charity comes to a version of his seventh thunder voice word message after 34 plus years of testing and trials. See, so it was just his word through Malachi 4 that was spoken during the calling out time of the bride and this bride call out age. You only been called out. Where are you going? Amen. The dynamics has got to come, which is he, charity. Then he will have an experience with you for this message. Do you understand it now? Even those who have the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Brother Branham said when the, when the Holy Ghost itself came, then the baptism in 1906, that became begotten. So now it's got to be the Holy Ghost itself. Oh, I've been trying to keep this place clean. You may be seated. Amen. So you got that now? So therefore, during this calling out age, we are to come, now we are to come face to face with Satan. You got to wake up. To know what you just come through. That's why I go back and show it to you now. That's why you see me staggering around here all these years here. So I'm thought, what is he hollering about? Well, you're going to find out right now. Amen. Amen. God of this evil age. Jeffersonville, 1965, page 8, paragraph 34. Last week in Matthew 24, it was the most deceiving age of all ages. Anointed ones at the end time. All the ages of deceit from the Garden of Eden all the way down. There's never been an age so deceptive as this age. False prophets will rise and show signs and wonders, if possible, to deceive the very elected. See? Now, just a cold, formal, starchy churches and so forth of man-made theology, uh, that wouldn't, he said, the elect would never pay no attention to that. Now, watch where it's at. But it's up there almost like the real thing. Do you understand that, Pennsylvania? New York? It was almost like the real thing. But just before the inheritance, they rail up. They have no forgiveness. They have no brotherly kindness. They accuse false accusers, scandalizers. So what are you shook up about Pennsylvania? Even sent false prophets among you to give you another message. Glory. May be seated. Hallelujah. No, the elect wouldn't be bothered with that. It's almost up there like the real thing. Just leaving. Now here it is. This is oh, just leaving out one word. It's all you have to do. Promise of the age. Very great time. Christians everywhere. Take heed to the hour we live in. Mark down and read and listen close. That's what I was screaming about all these years. Listen close. You're going to be deceived. Understand now why I was like a madman? May be seated. You mean uh, leave out one word? 
Yeah, like brotherly kindness. Forgiveness. And, and don't uh, speak evil against your brother. brother. Brother Branham said, people said, I've been with the prophet, you know? Just so sweet. But then what in the world are you, uh, is asked to come out of your mouth for? Huh? Salt water and sweet water come out of the same mouth? It didn't come out of the prophet's mouth. He says, say something nice. Say something good. Why don't you say that? Then I know you've been with the prophet. <laughs> you ain't been with no prophet. You've been with a mirage somewhere, praise God. You think you saw water that was sand, amen, on the road. Hallelujah. My God, Lord, hold me back. I don't want to say something. I don't want to make it too plain, praise God. Man. ha he, amen. Okay. What would God, now listen, what would God call a people out of this evil age for? His name. The reason it is, is to try her, his bride, try her, his bride, when she's made manifest, like today. Amen. You've been tried, Pennsylvania, but you're sitting down there made manifest. Oh, praise God. When she's made manifest, been proven, been tried, she's been proved to Satan. Like it was at the beginning, so shall it be at the end. So you stood your test this year. Hallelujah. Oh, maybe seated. You're here. If you wasn't called, you'd be gone. So shout for that. Okay. Oh, boy, time is getting away. I'm trying to make it. Maybe seated. Oh, my. Try her. At the end, right? We find now this evil age is to prove to Satan. She's not like Eve. That's why I was preaching when I was preaching. I'm proving to the devil. You ain't bringing anything in here like that. I'm blasting out of here, praise God. You're not deceiving me. I don't care how many years you with the prophet, praise God. I don't care how many stories in hunting and fishing. I do not care, praise God. That's not what he said. Hallelujah. Somebody shook up with that. Amen. Maybe seated. Well, why, Brother Coleman? Well, they only know him by association. But you know him by divine revelation. <laughs> Amen. Upon this rock of revelation, I'll build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Showing that it certainly would come against it. You may be seated. Okay. Prove to Satan she's not like Eve, that she is not that type of a woman. And she will be tried by his word, the bride, as Adam's bride was tried by the word. And Adam's bride believed every bit of the word, all but confused on one promise, that he's the same yesterday, today, and forever, but fail on one promise under the temptation of the enemy face to face. You mean these men that come around, that's Satan in them? Yes. But that's brother so-and-so. He's been preaching the thunders for so many years. Oh, Lord. Lord, help me. I mean, oh, my God. I could rip the covers off of here in this thunders or whatever it is. But I don't understand. No. Greetings to Brother Ruddle and Brother Jackson. Now, remember, there was two of them, Janice and Jambres. Don't you understand spiritual things? Is those that are way up there right with the real thing. That's where it's at. Maybe seated. That would almost deceive the very elected. Maybe seated. See it to say. Hallelujah. Oh, Brother Neville, watch that popularity. Brother Branham had to do something. He was leaving. I don't know. Praise God. But that's Brother Jones. I don't care who, who it is. Okay, whether it's Brother uh, Hujip John. Whoever it is. Praise God. Hujip John. Don't matter. Amen. Praise God. Brother Jones. I don't care about Brother Jones. I care about this word. Amen. 
And now the people that's called by his name, of course, is his bride. She is to come in contact again by the, the same thing, not just by denominational truth or something, but every word. For in the beginning of the Bible, man was given the word of God to live by. Live by. And one word misinterpreted. You shall not surely die. You shall surely die. One word, not surely die. Don't you understand that, church? They can't come and say little things like that and you let them get by with it. No, I straightened them out. I said, brother, where would you get that from? I still love you, but where did you get that from? <laughs> Amen. One word misinterpreted by a man called Satan and a person of an animal called the serpent. One word in the last days by a man called Satan misinterpreted by false anointed men in all the way up in the thunders. You got it? See that, Nick? Okay. For in the beginning of the Bible, man was given the word of God to live by. One word misinterpreted by man. Oh, I said that, yeah. Satan, a uh, Satan called a serpent. Satan in this person could talk to Eve. And Satan and these false anointed ministers in the message talk to the bride. And what is the one thing they all have? They come right against the seven thunders. Right against the seventh seal. It's closed. Six seals. That is Satan himself in these men. But, I, but that's a man. I don't care who it is, but that's the devil. So, maybe see, to talk to Eve and misinterpret the word to her and was lost. See, it must be every word. That's why you got all these interpretations. That is the devil with these interpretations. You see, I, I've left it alone. I just preached the word here. Oh, I don't know whether. Should I go any further? I got a tape here, you know. Huh? But, uh, okay. Okay, boss. You told me to go on. <laughs> because you're my boss, amen. <laughs> Praise God. You okay, you may be seated. Okay, now I'm going to say something. God of his evil age, page 9, paragraph 39. Disobedience means rebellion. Now we're going to see. Uh, page 9. In the middle of the Bible, uh, that was in the beginning of the Bible, down the middle of the Bible, Jesus come and said, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word, when he was tempted by Satan. Now, here's Brother Brown speaking now. Excuse me. God telling us here in the last days that the God of this evil world, of this world, will rise up in the last days, and whosoever shall add one word or take, it, take one word from it, his part will be taken from the book of life. Don't you understand what this means? This, God means this. But that brother, uh, he preached and he did that. I don't care what he did. Many shall come to me. That's also the word. Cast out devils, heal the sick, did this, did that. It doesn't matter. It's the word. Now, I'm not telling you to get an axe and go around and chop the heads off. You know what I mean? You may be seated. Do you want to know how to tell Matthew 22, I believe, St. Matthew, the parable of who is that faithful and uh, faithful and wise servant who's given out a food in, in due season. Nobody kno knew who it was. It was just who is that faithful and wise servant. Then by and by, the only way you could tell who was the wise servant there was nobody else. They, they all was the same in the thunders. And all of a sudden, one of them stepped out and began to smite the other servant. Oh, that's how you tell? Yes. Slander, cursing, reviling. That's him. That's him. But he's in the message. He hunted, he fished with the prophet. That's still him. I hope that nails that down, Pennsylvania. Praise God, you be set free. Okay, who is? You may be seated. And he begins to smite and curse, and you didn't even do anything. 
All you did was try to save the sheep. And that's what the prophet told me to do. Brother Hunt and I was in Banks Wood's house, maybe seated. Is this correct? And Banks Woods would, uh, Brother Brown would speak through Banks Woods to Brother Hunt and I. And we go to Banks Woods' house, and Brother, Banks Woods, Brother Hunt, they have a little fun. <laughs> Amen. And then Banks Woods would get serious, and he, and he would wink like this, you know. He said, now, listen, Brother Hunt, Brother Coleman, listen. And we'd listen. He said, now, if Bill was here, here's what he would tell you. Is this correct, Brother Hunt? He, he said, now, God give you those sheep in New York. And a minister comes around and got some strange thing. Take him in the back room. And if you have to bitterly uh, disagree with one another, do it. Because you are responsible for those sheep. So I did what I had to do in, nine, in the year 2000. January, February, March, April, May, June. I did it in the name of the Lord. And I'm not ashamed. And I will not back up. I did it for the sheep. Amen, Pennsylvania. And I'll do it again. Hallelujah. Glory. Amen. Well, praise God. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. That's what the prophet told us to do, and that's what I did. You may be seated. Well, I don't understand. Well, the prophet didn't tell them that. He told us that, not them. Amen. So that's what he told me for New York and Pennsylvania. Amen. Okay. Praise the Lord. Okay, you may be seated. Thank you. Gracias. Muchas gracias. Amen. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Glory. My. Brother Bloma, this is this, too heavy for me. I need some space. Praise God. Amen. Whee. I need some space, Brother Nick. Too much. I ain't used to this. Amen. I just got finished blasting. People are shouting. Whee. Amen, brother Nigel. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, like if you don't mind, I'll take another five minutes. We finish. Okay, you may be seated. Thank you. I really thank you from the depths of my heart. Because I did what I had to do this year, and it was very hard. I like to kill me collapse and everything and but I still got out brotherly kindness the, the steps how to go to that angel so that's all right amen but that was done so they might say oh he's washed up praise God I washed them washed in praise God amen no sir so that's done so they might manifest what's in the hearts amen brother Nigel says you got to come out of the heart what's really in there so God knows how to do it too Okay, God tells in the last days, the last, whosoever should add, yeah, okay. He said, God be merciful to us. Now, don't react on the other side. No, listen. God be merciful to us, and let us not walk as stiff shirts, chest stuck out, head up, know it all, for we too one time were in disobedience. But God, rich in mercy, when we were one time in disobedience, God, rich in mercy, thought of you and I hallelujah so let's pray for these people you don't have to hook up with them but just pray for them let's chest tuck out head up know it all for we too one time in disobedience let us walk with grace and mercy and feeling in our heart towards God humbly come to the throne of grace okay I just want to strike this in I'm finished uh, page 40 paragraph 168 now, children of disobedience means disobe disobedience means rebellion. I looked it up in the dictionary to be sure. Rebellion, rebelling against what? The revealed word of God. Oh. You mean that God would say seven thunders, seven voices, seven churches, that's the revealed word of God? Then all of these men would come and rebel against that? Whew. 
Yes, they have. Like Cain rebelled against Abel's revealed revelation, vindicated of God that it was righteous. And Cain rebelled against it and slew his brother. And they slay you today with their mouths. See, they slander your character, slander your family. There's all kind of things like that, you know. Amen. It happened to me in South Africa in 1986 when my friend over there walked away and I, after Leon, France, and I come back and Brother Riddle and Brother uh, Baloma right there. And I, I said, well, Brother Bob and Brother Joe, I said, I have to go back here and pray for your past. I got to die back here. Is that correct? Amen, Brother Bob. Raise your hand down there and tell the people that's right. I said, please pray for me. I got to go back with this man here and die. He pointed his finger in my face. He says, uh, God, he says, uh, charity, man. Where's the bulls and the bees? So I said, charity, man. I says, no, I never said I was a charity man. But you said you was a God man. I said, I preach charity as a promise. Add to your faith, virtue, and knowledge, and temperance, and patience. Whew. Brother, smoke was coming out of his head. I just smiled. <laughs> and he was steamed up and everything pointing in my face and everything. I started to push his finger out of my face, brother. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> okay, amigos. <laughs> yes, sir. Where am I at here? Oh, Cain, yeah, rebel against the, vind the, vindicated, the vindicated word. The Pharisees, with their own denominational knowledge of what the word of God was, selected hand-picked men, rebel against the vindicated word of God made manifest for the day. Jesus Christ and killed him. That right? That's what the children of disobedience is. A rebellion against the word of God. And you've seen it walk right out. You know? That's rebellion. Amen. Now see where they are? Oh, days of miracles has passed. Jesus Christ is not the same. Now watch. There's no such thing as the baptism of the Holy Ghost. You believe the message, you got it. Been here all these years. We had to face that. All that stuff is nonsense. See, rebellion. They don't have to say two things, just have to say one. That's all. That's rebellion right there. And I'm saying this because you're coming to this on the third phase. It will have to be every word. And they could just say one thing, they finish. That's right. Just one. That's all. That's rebellion right there. They can't say you don't. You don't have eyes, you don't have ears. You've got to take the whole body, the whole word. Oh, praise God. Who do you say this is? Amen. Well, amen. I better shut off here. I was going to read something else to see the discrepancy. I can pick it up again. So now you understand what all these years was? Amen. A place of trying. Try our people to prove to Satan once again, this bride is not like Eve. She will stand. Amen. And you have stood. Yeah. Amen, Pennsylvania. Yeah. Are you standing? You have stood for the seventh thunder, seventh seal message. Okay. Yes, sir. So rebellion. You don't have to say two things, one thing. So thanks be to the living God, we escape this rebellion spirit. Amen. Amen. Now, you know over in 1 Samuel 15, and you, you find it there. You understand in your types in the shadows, Saul is a type of the Pentecostal spirit that cannot take what the prophet says, Samuel. He said, kill every dirty Amalekite, even the babies. Is that correct? And the Pentecostals cannot do that. That spirit. It's all oh, no, surely this is for the Lord. And this poor sister here, what's, what's wrong with her cutting the hair? <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, and it's, uh, those are nice shoes and, you know, whatever, you know. Pentecostal spirit, they can't take the word. So it's right, your type is right there with Samuel. So when they're supposed to kill them all, he says, then he heard, bad. He said, what, what, what is that? He says, uh, well, that's for the Lord. That's not for the Lord, you know. And then here comes the king of the flesh, King Agag. Assuredly, the business of death is over. Huh? All that rough stuff is gone. Is Brother Coleman there? Tonight's service? He's, he's not here, is he? Huh? King Agag. Come tipping in so delicately, you know. So Samuel says, took his sword, the word, and chopped him in pieces. So I'm just warning you. Oh, you Pentecostal spirits, you're going to be chopped in pieces. Yeah. Amen. All right. Praise God. You got it. Okay. <laughs> Seed time, bread time, word time. 
Okay, I'm, I'm finished. I better get out of here now. All right. So, how are you? Thanks be the living God, we escaped this rebellious spirit in these three realms. Thank God we didn't have to stay down the intellectual, uh, humanistic, but we, God rose us up by his divine revelation. And that's what has carried this church all these years and others around the world who wanted to identify with it. So praise be to God, not a man, God. Chop the revelation down because he's going to have somebody on this earth. That's going to be a testimony. Amen. So praise God. Okay, something I want to say here. I'll skip past seat of the... Okay, if you, uh, if, if you have become the seed of God, then you must be the word of God. The word of God manifests in the age that you're living in for the promised seed of the age. But it's got to be a manifestation now. So I'm going to skip through here. The manifestation... Now watch. The manifestation of the Holy Spirit... And we're looking for it. I'm trying to set you up for it now. Operating through his children is those seed of the kingdom at that age. Oh, praise God. The dynamics will be there. And the seed will be sown. And then the, the manifestation of the Holy Spirit operating through you. You will be the seed of the age. See? Which is, which is fiction to take place on this third phase. It'll be spirit and word. Amen. Okay. Now on this third phase, the real Holy Spirit itself will get into the real seat of the word. Now on God's power to transform, page 39, Brother Bram says the baptism of the Holy Ghost is the seed of God, which is Jesus Christ. Thy seed shall possess the gate of his enemy. Amen. The gates of his enemy. The seed, who's the seed? Christ. So when you receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost, that is the seed of God. And if you don't have the Holy Ghost, you have a word seed that was back there before the foundation of the world. And you're coming in here now to understand who you are, where you come from. And God's ready to baptize you with the Holy Ghost and fire. Then you become a real seed. And when the real Holy Ghost gets into that real seed, it transforms. Oh, this is going to be some awe. Oh, praise. We're getting ready, brother. Hey, Amen. You may be seated. Now remember, Satan uses 99 and 9 tenths of the word. But the bride takes all of the word. And she will prove it on this third phase. Brother. Yes, sir. Okay, I'm finished. Back to the word. Back to the Bible. Is it time for Joseph's 14-year prophecy to be fulfilled in the 14th year, 2001? I'm only asking you a question. And I told you this came to me uh, August 17, 18, 19, 20. You know, on the 22nd, Sister Tris Griffin uh, had a short dream. Uh, Tuesday, Tuesday night, I believe it was. Last night, I dreamed that I saw several people. Some asked me, and others were wondering, where do I fit in Joseph's 14-year prophecy? I woke up from the dream before I could answer well, she had the dream that people asked, well, where do I fit in Joseph's 14-year prophecy? Well, I just finished telling you. <laughs> About an hour. <laughs> You've been told. <laughs> Amen. Okay. Now, I'll say this. Three times since 1966. 1964, Jacob Grace, Joseph Perfection. 1965, the shout of the king. And then since 1966, I knew it had to be Joseph Perfection. And then the Lord would show me in, in, in the word, you know. So uh, Brother Paul Griffin had a tape, in the, in, uh, which I, I preached here, The Harvest Has Come, 1980. I had it on there, and I counted the years out from 1966 to 1979. I was taken to Joseph, 14-year prophecy from 1966 to 1979. That's the way I have to preach. I have to be inspired to preach. Otherwise, I cannot do it. Just be flat and dead. You see me now? Then, uh, 19, on your low hair receipt, uh, I took that. from. I dropped back over to 1974 from Brotherly Kindness and brought it up to 1988. And that was 14 years. Then I said, well, that's it. I mean, you know. And then they come down here to August 17, and he said, now count the years. And this is the third time. So, what can I tell you? Amen. 
Okay, I'm going to read something to you now. In your low hair seat for your page 8 and 9. The bottom of page 8. This is uh, quoting from St. Mark 4.24. And he said unto them, Take heed what you hear with what measure you meet. It shall be measured to you. And unto you that hear shall more be given. Now I went to the Amplified. And here's what the Amplified says. And he said to them, be careful what you are hearing, especially on his third face. The measure of thought and study you give to the truth you hear will be the measure of virtue and knowledge. This is the Amplified. That comes back to you and more besides will be given to you who hear. So don't tell me you come all these years down to the third phase and you still can't hear, you still can't get into it. Well, whatever you put in, that's what you're going to get back. <laughs> so you see, amen. I understand that, amen. Then I say here, wow, everybody's just quiet here. Everybody got quiet when I said that. <laughs> Praise God. Now do you understand what was said in, in, in the Amplified? Now watch. If you hear in this season of good ground and seed time, pride time, what you hear and study will become, will come back to, to as virtue and knowledge and more and temperance and patience and godliness and brotherly kindness and charity. Praise God what you hear. So it's up to you. So we don't have to pride you no more on this message. I get a revelation that I don't have to bother no more. And you hear it on there. Well, praise God. What you hear be up to the individuals. Okay, maybe seated. Well, I'm finished. Uh, halfway Christians in the world. Well, we won't get into that. You know, they're worldly, carnal lot videos and gold chains and slips and movies and videos and TVs and desires of the world. Won't even bother with that. Amen. What you put into the word on the third phase of what you will get back. Well, may the Lord bless you, Pennsylvania down there, as you get ready to sign off. You will be seeing us live very soon by ISDN. Amen. Friday, Brother Baloma was told by the gentleman that's handling it that, uh, our six circuits have been identified, and we didn't even know because the strike was on, and then they did it right away. And we figured it'd be about two weeks or so. And in Pennsylvania, your six circuits have already been identified. So now, then the man told Brother Blomo that September the 6th, uh, we will be, uh, that will be our installation day. In Pennsylvania, uh, the same gentleman is going to call up Monday and to see when can Pennsylvania get an installation date. So we'll see. It's right here on top of us. So September 10th, I have a very special video that, that identifies the third phase and one that's just the uh, uh, LeBron, I mean LeBron, <laughs> Negron, uh, told me about. September 17th is the Forest Hills High School. September 24th, hopefully, if God wills, New York and Pennsylvania will be united by ISDN. Okay, may the Lord bless you, Pennsylvania. God bless you. See you soon. Give me a key. Only believe. God bless you.